peaks from the great mountain Har Kabir, overlooking the holy city of Shechem, what the world calls Nabalus, Har Kabir, here on this uh, Friday morning, the uh, first day of the new month of Sivan 5777. Uh, unfortunately, or actually fortunately for the Waller clan and his uh, clan, uh, the Hayovel joke group, there, fortunately for them, uh, they didn't make it here so early. I guess it's hard for them to get up so early in the morning. They were supposed to have a sunrise uh, tour here on Mount Kabir, but we see that they did not make it for them. We are ready for them. Uh, we even prepared a welcoming committee, so to speak, uh, and we prepared signs which we will leave for them, uh, which we will leave for them. We are sure that they will be here sometime today, and we will leave them the messages on this sign. So we have on the uh, first sign here, we have uh, Hayovel, which is Waller's uh, group, no place for idol worship in the land of Israel. If you want to be righteous Gentiles, well, you have to give up JC. Because one of the seven commandments that uh, God commanded all human beings, all mankind, was no idol, idol worshiping. And JC is definitely idol worshiping. So if you're looking to become righteous, you're barking up the wrong tree, Waller. Our second sign uh, <coughs> Some of our viewers might not understand the connection, but believe me, Waller and Ayovel understand this message very, very clearly. The message is the following, Waller, Ayovel, you will never, you will never be able to take the land of Israel from the Jewish people. You will never get your hands on the land of Israel, Waller and Hayovel. You understand exactly what I mean. I think that's very interesting that uh, Waller and Hayovel, they come up to the high places. They have a, a base on the mountain of the blessings. Uh, Bracha. They were going to come up here this morning. They'll be here later. It's very interesting because in the time of the judges, like here comes the judge, in the time of the judges, the, uh, the Gentiles would worship foreign idols on the high mountaintops. In fact, there's a question in the Talmud, after Gentiles have worshipped idols, on top of mountains, does that mean that the whole mountain becomes a place of idol worshiping, which would mean that we would not be allowed to step foot on that mountain or to climb that mountain? And the answer, the Talmud goes into 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 length, but the bottom line is that the even the idol worshippers they cannot uh, they cannot turn a beautiful, holy, spiritual mountain into a place of impurity of idol worshiping, like uh, JC. Uh, Jesus Christ. So, um, Waller, Hayovel, you could fool some of the Jews some of the time, but you can't fool all the Jews all the time. And we want you to know that there's a lot of Jews, there's a lot of Jews that understand exactly your linguel. We understand your language. We understand the nuances. We know who you are. We know what your goal is. We know why you want to create, you want to build relations in your own words. We know why. Because there are two ways to destroy the Jewish people. Once upon a time, the Gentiles destroyed the Jews by the traditional means of killing us off, burning us to the stake, crusades, inquisitions, you know. Uh, lately, since they see that did not work, so they have another technique. That technique is called building relations. That technique is called volunteering for the harvest of the grape vine, of the vineyards in the land of Israel. 
trying to buy Jews. That's really what it comes down to. Unfortunately, there are some Jews, even rabbis, that for the sake of uh, for the sake of monetary benefit that they receive from you, they uh, tend to close their ears and eyes to all the uh, proofs who you really are. But as I said, the majority of the Jewish people, we know who you are. We've got your number, and it ain't Colt 45. We got your number, Waller. We got your number, Hayovel. Idol worshippers, out of the land of Israel. Do yourselves a 